Hi, this is Rob with Precision Zone, and bearing related problems cause more than half of all motor failures. Because of this reason, we pay special attention to bearings and bearing housings when we perform inspections on motors. Most of the time, a bearing related problem is the root cause of a motor failure. For example, a bearing that is beginning to gall can place extra load on the motor. That extra load would then in turn cause the motor to draw excessive current. This excessive current can overheat the winding and burn up the motor. Or excessive vibration and out of roundness can cause an encoder to fail or malfunction. Our technicians carefully inspect bearings and bearing housings for dirt, contamination, damage, scratches, out of round races. We check for any kind of distortion. Then we check the shaft and the end bells or housings for wear or damage. Let's check out these two housings and see what we can find. There are two tests that you can perform to see if these bearing housings are within spec. The first one is to use a bearing and just check for play. And then the second one, we're gonna use a bore gauge to get a much more precise reading and check the tolerances. You're gonna place the bearing in the housing. Once it's seated, I'm gonna hold down on one side and pick up the other side. And I, I don't feel any rocking back and forth. So that's a good sign. We'll do the same thing over here. And if you hear that noise, the bearing is actually rocking back and forth. So that's not a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and use this ultra precise bore gauge to see what type of tolerances these two housings hold. As you can see that this bearing is holding uh, 80 and 5 microns of a tolerance. This bore is supposed to be 80 millimeters, so it's right there within range because it can be plus or minus 5 microns. And that's about two tenths of a thou. Now this bore is 16 microns over, so it is way out of spec. Some other repair shops think that gluing a bearing in is a proper fix. And here at Precision Zone, we don't quite think that's the case. That's why we bore out this housing, we'll place a sleeve in, and then we'll bore out the correct dimension so that that housing has a proper fit. If these problems don't go unchecked or unfixed, you'll end up with a motor just like this one. And I can almost bet that a bearing started slipping in here and caused excessive heat and destroyed this rotor. Well, if you would like to know more, please go check us out at precisionzone.com where you can find our housing service and any other services that we provide. Thanks for watching. <laughs>